Have you ever wanted to try out any of the amazing Adobe products, only to very quickly realize that you'd have to fork over an arm and a leg if you wanted to use them for long-term creative projects? And maybe you already pay for the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite and you're struggling to justify the cost. Here's why I replaced all my Adobe apps with free ones and also what those free apps are. Let's not beat around the bush here. Adobe Axe are incredible, industry standard tools for any creative project you can think of. From photo editing with Photoshop, to video and content creation with Premiere Pro, to PDF editing with Acrobat Pro, Adobe seems to have the solution for anything. The catch, however, is that the products are really expensive, especially if you're an up and coming creative trying to get into your respective industry. Adobe does offer some discounts and bundles with their Creative Cloud Suite which includes access to their most popular software, but even then, it isn't enough. Additionally, Adobe has some weird business practices like with their early cancellation fees. If you want to stop using their products. With that in mind, I started my journey to find free that could get the job done comfortably. Photoshop is probably the most well-known and commonly used Adobe product. It's a photo editing software with some very useful features. The recent expansion into AI has also taken the software to another level. So, it's important that any free alternatives give a strong impression. For that, I present Photopea and Sumapaint. For those looking for a visually similar experience to Photoshop, Photopea is an excellent choice. This web-based software is completely free and offers some strong capabilities while having allowed that is heavily inspired by Photoshop's UI. He can edit raw files and open and export anything into PSD format. It can also use some unique and custom brushes by importing ABBA files. The software does lack in the AI department though. All in all, Photopea doesn't come off ads or feel like a wood based application which is great. Sumo has a suite of acts that could convincingly cover several of the Adobe acts, but I've chosen to show off Sumo Paint specifically. This app comfortably does most of what Photoshop can do, AI features included. The text to image generator is always fun to use, and surprisingly competent. There is also image quality upscaling and a plethora of other features ready at your fingertips. Notably, Summerpain can be used to draw, hence the use of the name. You can draw reasonably well using the software, and any compatible hardware great for adding your own personal touch to your photos. This software is usable for free, but if you would like access to all the features, there is a very low cost of $4 a month which is astronomically cheaper than Photoshop. Premiere Pro has become an industry standard for commercial video editors and content creators alike. It's an easy to use video editing software with a deep set of features to explore. The interconnectivity between Premiere Pro and other Adobe products like Audition and After Effects really sets it apart. The closed ecosystem provided by Adobe has a lot of benefits and it makes integrating files from different apps astonishingly simple. However, I found some amazing free alternatives in CapCut and DaVinci Resolve and one of them can do a lot more than just edit videos. CapCut is a great video editing app for any beginner editors starting a journey in the creative space. It offers a wide range of features such as background removal, image upscaling, color correction and a lot more. There is also a massive lock of texts, filters, effects, stickers and use it to enhance your videos. CapCut offers a free desktop and mobile version, so you can edit to your heart's content for review. This software might lack some of the depth of Premiere Pro in my next offering, but it shouldn't be overlooked for that. CapCut will get the job done well and I guarantee that you'll enjoy the journey. The next free alternative to Premiere Pro is slated as a Hollywood standard in filmmaking. That's right, this piece of software that any of us can use for free is used to make blockbuster movies. DaVinci Resolve is somewhat of an upgrade when switching from Premiere Pro. The look and feel of the app itself go beyond what Adobe offers. It goes without saying that DaVinci Resolve has a deep catalog of features and will cater to all your video editing needs. The wizardry incorporated into this software is nothing short of amazing when it comes to color correction, effects and audio post-production. Now, Adobe Audition and After Effects didn't really make it into this video because they are somewhat niche compared to the more commonly used products but DaVinci Resolve can basically fill in for those acts with its own. 
integrated functionality in Fusion and Fairlight. Simply put, it is much more than just a video editing software. The Vinci Resolve is free to use, and yes, some of the features are not available in the free download. However, there is more than enough in this monstrous package to be worth a try. Next up for the Adobe products that are being replaced with significantly cheaper alternatives is Illustrator. Illustrator is the go-to software for the, to base graphic design tools, and it has all the bells and whistles that you would need such as the ability to generate and incorporate patterns and shakes into your designs, generative color, textographic technology, and much more. If you're looking to create a logo, a sign, a business card, or generally any modern graphic, then this is where you stop. Or rather, this was where I stopped before I found two alternatives that are more than a match for Illustrator. No more shilling out hundreds of dollars a year for my graphical creations because now I have Inkscape and that TZ. Up first is the open source Inkscape. This powerful piece of software is a respectable replacement for Illustrator and is heavily recommended by many designers. The wide range of capabilities that Inkscape provides is impressive, like advanced object manipulation, a pattern and clone arrangement tool, extensive filters, unique fill settings and a spirals tool. The open source nature of Inkscape means that with a bit of technical wizardry you can very easily integrate it with other software. It is also consistently being improved upon and receives regular updates. Inkscape is free to use and does its job very well, so there is no excuse not to give it a try. He's never at that it's free to use and there's some big clients such as the BBC, McDonald's, Dell and Amazon. TV is wood based and can suit all your graphic design needs. It's easy to use and can import and edit SVG files with no issues. It can also be used to create a completely original design. It has an extensive array of shapes and art assets to assist in its user's creative explorations. And the added ability to draw freehand shapes and objects is a bonus. Simplicity is at the core of this software and graphic design doesn't get any easier for beginners than with that teaser. Adobe and Design is similar to Illustrator in a few ways. It is also a graphic design tool, but it is much more focused on the specific purpose of designing and working with the layouts of books, magazines, posters and other readable media. The huge array of templates and tools to arrange information in a visually unique and pleasing way is what puts InDesign ahead of most of its competition. Like all Adobe products, it is intuitive to use as Scribus and Canda are my two choices for free replacements, and one of those choices might seem a bit odd, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's start with Scribus. It's a free open source app used for design and layout solutions, and is available on Windows, Mac OS, and certain GNU slash Linux systems. This program received regular updates and attention, and is commonplace in a lot of open source software. In truth, Scribus can do just about anything that InDesign can do and it is almost as many templates to assist in creation. There is a bit of a sticking point though. Stribus is not as user-friendly and readable as its Adobe counterpart. There is a mild learning curve that comes with the app simply due to the lackluster nature of the interface. It just isn't as intuitive as many users may want. Alright, let's talk about Canva. I'm choosing to put this word-based app here because it can very easily fulfill many of the needs an InDesign user would have. The simply is not an easier to use program for information, layout design. However, I need to be clear here, Canva is an incredibly versatile option for a ridiculously wide range of tasks. It is not a one-to-one -one replacement for InDesign, but it could easily and competently contribute to projects that are covered by other acts in this video. Simple video presentations, infographics, logos, informational layouts, simple cartridges and image manipulation. Canva can do it all quickly and to a higher standard than most would like to admit. This jack-of-all-trades app is also free to use, and the paid version unlocks additional features. Finally, we come to an underappreciated Adobe software, Adobe Acrobat Pro. Most people are familiar with and use Adobe Acrobat Reader in their daily lives without much thought. Acrobat Pro is the paid and beefed up version of that. It is a PDF reading, editing and conversion software and my choices for free alternatives are only Office PDF Editor and PDF24 Creator. 
another open source program on the Office PDF editor is part of an Office suite for desktop and mobile, with a word based version as well. This PDF editor can do pretty much everything its Adobe counterpart with the ability to make comments, highlight free handouts, convert formats such as DocX into PDF, and even create fillable forms. On the Office PDF editor, is completely free for download and warrants to look at. PDF24 Creator is my final recommendation as an Adobe replacement. This lightweight act for Windows covers all the basics that Acrobat Pro does. It also comes with a PDF screen capture feature that allows you to turn screenshots into PDF first for later editing, which is pretty neat. It is also refreshing that this app has no arbitrary limitations hidden behind a paywall and those were the acts I replaced my Adobe ones with. Have you used any of them before? What Adobe product would you find the most difficult to replace and why? Leave a like and let me know in the comments down below.